This is the Motto B's classroom where they are not taught but trained. Sitting inside the circuit board, these honeybees will perform the task of a digital sensor after their training. They will work as a sensor that can easily detect explosives and drugs. It is quite difficult to comprehend and understand how Motto bees, being small insects, can efficiently detect explosives and drugs and then transmit their signal to humans. But this is the fact, and it is also possible. Welcome back to our channel, Back in Time. Viewers, the training starts from the roofs of the bees, where first a device is used to select the bees. After gathering them in this device, they are shifted to a lab where the process of their training begins. Upon emerging from the roofs, they become quite violent, which is why they are first placed in a refrigerated environment to cool down their movements and reduce their activity. After cooling them down, they are picked up by hand and placed in a harness. In the harness, they are unable to fly, but their faces remain uncovered. Now they are left in the harness for 30 minutes so that they can adapt to their new environment. Loading each bee into the harness by hand is a time-consuming task. That's why many laboratories perform this task with the help of machines. Now these bees will be trained for the next two days. The training process for Mado bees is similar to the training given to dogs for detecting drugs and explosives. Like dogs, Mado bees also have a strong sense of smell. Both these creatures possess the ability to sniff out their target from a considerable distance. When training dogs to detect explosives, they are exposed to explosive powder from a young age. Whenever the dog successfully detects the scent, it is rewarded with something to eat as a substitute. Care is taken to ensure that dogs are not given food without an exclusive scent. Gradually, the dog understands that it will only receive food when it successfully detects the scent. This helps the dog develop a good understanding that it will be rewarded with food only when it sniffs and detects the specific scent. By utilizing the same psychology of dogs, it has become quite easy to use them for explosive detection at airports. Whenever a dog detects an exclusive scent in any luggage, it instinctively communicates to its owner or trainer by displaying a specific behavior, such as sticking out its tongue. At that moment, it is rewarded with food as a form of reinforcement. However, how do Mado bees perform this task? How do they communicate to humans that they have detected explosives or drugs, as we all know that bees feed on flower nectar? When bees encounter the scent of flowers, they extend their tongues outside their bodies. Their tongue functions similar to a straw, allowing them to suck up liquid. Changing the habit of extending their tongue upon smelling flowers is not as difficult. When the bees in the harness become tired, they are then shortlisted for further selection. To create a shortlist, a cotton pad soaked in sweet water is placed in front of the bees. The bees that show interest in sucking the sweet water extend their tongues outside their bodies. These are the same points when the shortlisted bees are sent to the next phase of training. Now, the shortlisted bees are exposed to explosive vapor for a duration of six seconds, and in the final three seconds, they are provided with a cotton pad soaked in sweet water. With the help of a machine, the process continues for a few hours, and eventually, the Mado bees become proficient. They understand that immediately after detecting that particular scent, they will be rewarded with sweet water. Now, automatically their tongues protrude out after detecting that specific smell. Now that these bees have been fully trained, you can remove them from the harness and release them into a container. And, and this same training is also given to other bees. Here, let me tell you that this training can be given to them for explosive powder detection, as well as narcotics. But the problem now is that the response of bees to humans is microscopically visible. However, it is not practically possible to do this in airports and sensitive areas. It would require doing something that enables the machine to detect the act of bees extending their tongues upon smelling. There are several methods that can be used. One approach is video processing, where the bee's tongue extension behavior is captured through video footage. The captured video is then processed using monitoring devices equipped with micro cameras, which detect the act of bees extending their tongues using AI-based video processing techniques. The detected signals are displayed on the screen. Immediately it displays an alarm and the machine presents a cotton swab with sweet water as a reward in front of the bees. 
In addition to cameras, the bee's response can also be recorded with an infrared light. An infrared red light is placed underneath the faces of the bees in such a way that whenever their tongue protrudes, it obstructs the light falling on the sensor, causing a decrease in light intensity. When this happens, the light sensor understands that the bee's tongue is now outside. Using the same method, around 30 bees are placed in a handheld machine. The security staff places this machine in front of the passenger's bag for six seconds. If there are drugs or any other prohibited items in the bag, an immediate red alarm display will appear on the screen. When comparing the power of dogs and honeybees, there is a significant difference that becomes apparent. The training given to dogs takes several years to complete, whereas honeybees can be trained in just a few hours. Not only that, but the cost associated with honeybees is also significantly lower compared to dogs. In addition, there are many cases where the use of dogs is simply not feasible. As for finding buried landmines in the ground, these landmines are so sensitive that even a slight weight on top of them can trigger their detonation. Clearly, this is not a task for dogs. For this purpose, specially trained honeybees are released and monitored using drones, leaving them free to explore. If they detect the smell of something exclusive in a certain area, they start wandering around it. In the hope that they will now receive sweet water, this bee's response is being observed live through a camera, and experts directly reward the bees upon reaching the designated spot and render the landmines useless by digging them up. Until now, not only trained dogs and honeybees have been used for security purposes, but there are many other animals that have been extensively used in military operations throughout history. These animals have proven to be highly beneficial for these purposes. A dedicated video on this topic will soon be available on the Back in Time channel. We hope that you will also like and share this video, and we sincerely appreciate your loving comments. See you in the next amazing video. Take care.